Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Kang Wang, and I came from Colorado School of Mines. Today, I will present my group's work about the simulation of coupling hydraulic fraction propagation and gas well performance for the simulation of production in unconventional CO gas reservoirs. And uh, this presentation, I'm just the third author, and I'm not the main contributor to this one. Uh, the first author, because of he's so busy, he cannot be here. And here is the outline. Uh, first, I will talk about the objectives, and then the theory and methodology. And at the last, I will show a case study in, uh, in China. And uh, as we know that the innovation of hydraulic production has uh, helped a lot on the revolution of the US, North America, shale gas, and Thai gas re uh, reservoir productions. And uh, the, in this research, we will present a fully coupled framework to simulate the hydraulic-induced fracture propagation and post-fracture gas well performance. And our simulator could capture these four physical mechanisms. The first one is the fracture width increase or the fracture propagation occurring as the slurry is injected into the fracture. And we can also consider the erosion caused by the fracturing fluid and leak off or uh, proper subsidence and flow back. At last is the multi-phase fluid flow through the very skilled anisotropy, natural, and man-made fractures. So we have the equations for each of these uh, physics. The first one is the equation for fracture mass and flow equations as shown, as shown here in this slide. And we consider the mass conservation equations for both the propent and fluid component uh, as you can see, the first equation is for the proper mass conservation. The second one is for the fluid, co uh, fluid component conservation. And for the fluid, uh, fluid component conservation, we consider the uh, fluid leak off, which is, uh, which is the relation between the pressure and the saturation alongside the hydraulic fractures. Uh, so for the uh, for the slurry velocity, it is a combination of both fluid and uh, mass and solid. Uh, we use the, the Darcy, a similar uh, Darcy law to, uh, to describe this uh, slurry velocity. And this slide is the fracture mecha uh, mechanism equation. Uh, we used an uh, analytical solution to describe the fracture width, uh, which is the relationship between the pressure difference, the, the, uh, the pulsing ratio. And once the fracture is initialized, uh, we use the stress in, uh, intensity factor to determine whether the fracture will propagate or not. If it is determined to propagate or extend, then the distance of the fracture extension is the maximum value of uh, the zero and uh, the max. And we also consider the fluid flow in the wheel bore. Uh, as shown here, the pressure uh, gradient is both the contribution from, uh, from the gravity and the friction alongside the wheel bore. If the, if the slurry is injected through the wheel bore, then the uh, flow velocity is positive. Uh, if not, then they just remain zero. If it's uh, injected from the wheel bore from the fractures, then this uh, flow rate will be negative. And at the last, we have the equations for the uh, two-phase flow alongside the fractures in the reservoirs. The two phases flow are water and gas. Uh, we use the Darcy's equation to describe the, uh, this velocity for both water and gas. And in this slide, I will show uh, how do we couple both the reservoir uh, fluid flow in the reservoirs and the fracture propagation. So at each time iteration, we calculate, uh, first we calculate the, uh, we use the fracture model to calculate the uh, fracture location, fracture uh, geometry. And then we uh, transfer this data into the reservoir simulation model. And then based on these fracture properties, we can calculate the frac 
the fluid leak off from the fractures into the reservoirs. And then this fracture leak off, uh, we can have the uh, fluid saturation alongside the fractures. And then we can use this data back into the fracture model and for the uh, fracture leak off or uh, uh, rate, once the, uh, the iteration uh, are done several times and uh, uh, is converged, then we can go to the next time step. And at the last, I want to show a case study. And uh, this case is, uh, is a tie guess uh, from, uh, from the China. And uh, uh, because the stress of uh, variety between the horizontal minimum stress and the maximum stress is so large, so the BV model, uh, so the fracture is considered not that complex. It's a BV model, like a, a 2D planar model. And uh, in this uh, case, they, f they have two sections. One is the vertical section until the TVD about uh, 2,600 feet, uh, 2,600 meters. And we also have a, a horizontal section uh, around 2,000 meters. And uh, we have uh, six stages of hydraulic fractures. Uh, and in this case, I will just show you the simulation result of one stage. This table lists the injection uh, schedules, including uh, the injection rate, the propane fraction, and uh, the fluid type. Uh, we have two different fluids. One is the basic fluid, which is mainly the, uh, the water. And the second is the, the fluids considered uh, have the gel. So uh, in this, uh, in this, for this stage of hydraulic fracture, uh, the schedule have 15 different stages. And we input all these um, data uh, into our simulator. And we also have the geomechanical properties of the formation, like the Young's modulus uh, and the Poisson's ratio into, in, the, our, in our model. And uh, this figure shows our simulation uh, result. The left figure is the fracture width profile after all the simulation. It's the influence of both the uh, water injection and the propane, uh, propane settlement. And the right figure is the propane concentration after, this, uh, uh, after all this fluid injection. As we can see, the maximum uh, concentration is on the uh, is on the on the lower part because of the gravity, the gravity of the density of the propane is much larger than the fluids, so the substance into the lower part of the of the fractures. And we input all these uh, simulated hydraulic fracture uh, data into the gas performance simulator. Uh, we use the a cubic law to correlate from the fracture uh, width, the propane concentration into the hydraulic fracture conductivities. And uh, we also have some uh, benchmark data about the porosity and the permeability near side the uh, hydraulic fractures. And uh, we use all this uh, data uh, for uh, applied it into the production data. So what we did is we, we run a history match uh, we input the, because we have the production data of the daily production rate and the uh, gas well pressure, we use, uh, we use the gas uh, well, we use the well head pressure as the input data. And then we simulate the daily production rate and we compared our simulated daily production rate with the uh, recorded production rate. We can see uh, all these two curves matched pretty well. So. It gives us confidence for this methodology. At last is our conclusions. First, we present a couple of hydraulic fraction propagation and gas wheel performance models for the unconventional gas reservoirs. And we showed the mathematical and physical equations for both the model and the methodology. And we also showed the numerical uh, approaches to couple these two parts. And at last, we conducted an example study using the field data and the simulated results from this copper model matched pretty well with the production data. Thank you so much. Any questions?
We have time for